Hello. So uh, today I will be uh, today I found the vulnerability in the redhat.com domain. Uh, I proceed to proceed towards explaining it. So for this scenario, let us consider a user named James who is the victim, and uh, his uh, username is James at one two three four password one two eight. And this is his mail ID. I have already logged into this account, so I'll log out of this account. Now, suppose consider a scenario where uh, James is trying to access Red Hat, his Red Hat account after uh, several weeks, and he forgot his password. So the first thing he will try to do is click on forget your password and he will enter his mail and try to recover his password now we also have a attacker here named Natasha and uh, her mail id is this and her password is 80 so i found a vulnerability and uh, let's say there is an ex vulnerability in the system and Natasha is the attacker who is the, who is trying to exploit this vulnerability and she has exploited this vulnerability and uh, I'll show you what will happen now as a result. So James here is trying to uh, reset his password. Let's see. Now I have created James James's mail account using temp mail and these these are some previous mails already present here while well, I was testing. So when I'll click submit here, uh, recovery mail should appear in James James's inbox. Right? Let's see what happens. Okay, so we got a prompt here that. Uh, a link will be sent to the inbox to reset the password. Let's check James's inbox. That is strange. We are not getting any mails for resetting the password. Let's try that again. This time also we are not getting any need to reset his password. And basically James is totally locked out of his account. Now he forgot his password and he's trying to recover it, but he is not receiving any mail from the backend system. Why is this happening? Let's check out on our attacker now. So this is our attacker's mailbox. Now, till here, these were some test mails which were they are already present here, and uh, these two are the new mails we got while trying to reset James James password. Why is this happening? Like James is trying to reset his password, but the mails are getting sent to Natasha's inbox. I'll show this again. Uh, say Natasha's inbox is already containing one, two, three, four, five, six, six mails, right? So let's and James's mailbox is already containing three mails by default. So let's try to reset James's password again.
as we can see here number of males present here stays the same but We got a new male here. No, we didn't get get it here. Let's wait some time. There are seven males here. There should be eight now. See, there are eight males now. So this proves that the when James is trying to reset his account, his mails are getting sent sent to the attacker's mailbox. How is this happening? If this is true, then can I just click on any of the mails and try to reset James's password using this link and probably uh, do a full account takeover? Would that be possible? No, no need to worry about that. Uh, we can't do an account takeover using this because. James is not trying to reset his account here. Well, he thinks he he is trying to reset his account, but no, something else is happening here. James is trying to reset Natasha's account. Now, how is that doesn't make any sense, right? Let me explain. Natasha's username is same as James James's mail ID. So Natasha, as an attacker, she got hold of James' ID from any uh, information gathering technique, and uh, she opened a new account in Red Hat using his mail ID as a username. Yes, we can do that. In we can do this in the account creation uh, while registering an account. We can do this. So basically, Natasha created an account with the username being James's mail ID. And here, this uh, the system, the backend system, basically. Give the preference to the username first rather than the mail. So here is where the flaw is. So when I'm putting, when James is putting the, uh, it is both for login as well as uh, forget password. The preference is being given to the uh, username first. So when I'm putting James's mail here, the system thinks that. I am putting Natasha's username because it already finds a username using this mail ID. What I mean is, uh, it already finds a username using this set of strings. So it doesn't continue to look for a mail ID as it already found a username using the these set of strings. But this username is of Natasha's account. 
so when james put this account this mail his own mail and tries to reset his account he is actually trying to reset natasha's account that's why the mail ids are getting rece received on natasha's mailbox so basically now james is completely locked out of his account now if he tries to log in using his uh username or try to reset password using his username he will get a reset link in his inbox as you can see we got a reset now finally we got a reset link in james's inbox but generally this won't happen a user first thing that a, that comes to a user's mind when he or she clicks the forget password is to put his mail id there because generally generally just the mail id option available there to reset his or her account the username doesn't generally stay there so in general he will put his mail his or her mail account to reset his or her password and resetting using their username will won't even come to their mind and they would definitely get frustrated that why he or she is not getting the mail id mail id to reset his or her account and the only option left in that scenario would be contacting red hat red hat support to reset their password so a basic solution to this would be simply uh giving the preference to the mail id first first check in the database where that the uh, present mail id the string which is being put here is already present as a mail id or not check the mail id column first and then try to proceed with the username if mail id is not found then search for the username so doing this simple fix would solve this vulnerability and exploiting this vulnerability uh, an attacker can basically lock out any of the user any of the red hat account holder if he or she gets uh his or her mail id provided that the user forgot his or her password so that is what i had to explain in this scenario and i hope i was clear enough to explain the bug and vulnerability present here that's all i have to say thank you